Hi, I'm Mike, and uh, this is Stuart Large and John Dudley. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Let me tap in. I'm here to talk to you today about our apprenticeship program, which involves about 25 classroom hours, uh, 16 on hand experience hours, and about 13 uh, other different requirements, right? Is that As well as the final mm. test. Is that uh, on the weekends? Accurate? No. Okay. We both did, did that noise like we were going to talk. So this is Chris. <laughs> I'm Michael. I'm John. I'm Chris. And I'm Michael. I'm John Stewart. John Stewart. <laughs> Hi. Um, this is Chris. Hey. I'm Michael. This is John. And that's Stewart. And we're all part of the uh, team that is up at Crossings North um, at Christenberry Elementary School. And we wanted to tell you a little bit of a story about... Um, the leadership pipeline and, and how that is at crossings. It was our second preview service one Sunday before our launch and I got a phone call. Mike gets a call from Isaac Leimeister. Le is that how you pronounce it? Leimeister Leimeister. Do you say Leimeister? And the phone call was from Isaac Leimeister, Leimeister, who was running sound downtown. And so I, I pick up the phone, how's it going, man? And he's like, well, I can't get the soundboard to work. And I'm thinking to myself, all right, this is our second. <laughs> you said a light what was out. it? <laughs> I talked him through a couple scenarios, tried this, this, and this. Um, and he said, didn't, didn't do anything. I already tried that. And so I was like, well, there's nothing I can do for you. So the one thing that I knew I could do was talk to Stuart here. Okay, so, uh, so at this point, I'm on the phone with Isaac. I've got my phone here, and I've got, like, three cables, and I'm, like, running around plugging stuff up and tweaking things on the soundboard. I'm still completely unaware of what's going on. <laughs> Just wanted to know that. <laughs> and uh, so I'm telling Isaac, he says, everything sounds like it's coming out of a box. It's so funny sounding. I'm like, well, do you cue things right? And he said, yeah, yeah. So I run through a few things. And uh, he says, the monitors aren't working. And at that point, I knew something was definitely, definitely wrong. And there was nothing more I could do troubleshooting over the phone. So I had to take off to go downtown. And so here I am. I'm a pretty intense guy. Like, you might not see it on the outside. But on the inside, I'm kind of freaking out. Because there's, like, a lot of stuff that has to get done production-wise. We have to put up lights, video, sound. We have to make the room look good. And so here I am. Second, second uh, preview service, first big Sunday, sound guy's gone. What can I do? So what I do is I, as I get on the soundboard and I start to run sound. And I run it for about two seconds and then somebody comes up and just pushes me out of the way and says, no, you're doing it wrong. You were doing it wrong. I'm just saying. <laughs> gonna do it, do it right. Okay. And so... That's right. Uh, I had to uh, take over sound at that point because Mike was just making a mess of it and people... <laughs> well, Mike was doing production and he was getting lighting questions and all this other stuff and right. he distracted and he was trying to run the sound check with the phone mm -hmm. to the ear talking to somebody else. So Mike's a like, multitasker. Yeah, he, he's not. So how did you know how to do it, what you were doing? Um, Stuart had uh, taught a small course like a course class how to evening of lights, evening sound. Evening of lights and sound yeah there you go um a couple of weeks beforehand shown us how to use the soundboard set up all the equipment and so uh, i knew kind of what was going on and we would had one preview service but we hadn't had a band so i actually hadn't done the full sound check so that was pretty much my knowledge at that point was just what he told me and what i a little bit of what i'd seen the next cool part in the story was that in the very next week, uh, John ran sound, sound by himself, um, did amazing as well that week, and then the week after that, he had his very own apprentice. Yes, my own wee lad to train. His own little he Padawan. Was a, he was an adult. It's, <laughs> he, was, he actually <laughs> it was an a adult. wee lad. I mean, he was a small not, man. It's not child labor. Why don't we call him a Padawan? It'd be way cooler than an apprentice. <laughs> So that's the basics. So that's the basics of the leadership pipeline. Of the leadership pipeline. Of the leadership pipeline at Crossings.
Pipeline? Pipeline. 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 It's a lot of effort for a two minute video. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Actually. I love it, guys. Did we get it? Oh. We got it! Woo! Yes!